questions? Yes. Right here in front right, Ryan. Willie, is uh, lethal simplicity the definition, kind of handing the ball to Royce and some of these other guys and just letting them do their thing? It's pretty simple, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can't get any simpler than that, than just uh, kind of feed your studs, you know, get them the ball and, and let them do what they they do best. You know, it was, it was good to see uh, Royce go out and, and um, have the game that he did. Um, it was good to see that our old line play the way they did. And I think whenever you have rushing yards like that, it says a lot about your receivers. And I thought our guys did a good job on the perimeter. Bigger in the middle, Aaron. Coach, uh, can you talk about your emotions exiting the tunnel with all the smoke leading up to before the smoke is even gone? Tony Brooks James is running back. You're sprinting down the sideline, showing that old quarterback speed. What was going through your mind and your body during both those times? Um, well, we're in the tunnel. Um, I couldn't wait to get out of the tunnel for a while. And then um, I heard the motorcycle and then I got goosebumps and I was ready to go. Then I wanted to put on some pads and go out there at that time, you know, and and then to run out to a crowd like that was was big time, you know. And then when when you start the season off with a kickoff return, that's always great, great momentum and um, get you really go, get you going um, to start the game off. That was good overall by everybody. On the right, Kristen. After that kickoff return, I mean, the sidelines, the entire game were just it was looked like a dance party over there. What what was the energy like coming from your team throughout throughout the game? Um, those guys were fired up, you know. Um, we always talk to our players about everybody on our team. Have hold on, time out, homie. It's my time. It's my time. I know you did your thing. Um, ask that question again, Chris. I'm sorry. It looked like a dance party on oh, the okay. sideline. Yes. Yeah. How was the energy? Ah, uh, it was a lot of energy, and it wasn't artificial. It was the real juice. It was the real deal. Um. But we always talk to our guys about everybody has a role on this team, and we want everybody to do a great job at that role. And some of those guys that wasn't playing, we want them to make sure they locked into the game and have a lot of energy, a lot of motion. And and uh, we, we just really feel like enthusiasm is contagious. You know, our guys on the field, they see that, and our fans see it, everybody, and they get excited and get into the game. You know, um, that's just kind of how we practice. That's how we play, and, uh, and that's kind of who we want to be. Front left back. You're up 42 to seven and in about two minutes, they, they got the 21 points. What was your message at halftime and how did you feel like they handled the, the third quarter to start the game? Uh, we're, we're better in the uh, third quarter. A little disappointed there at the end of the uh, second quarter to, to give up a touchdown there and, and then to come out and um, give up that turnover on the kickoff return. We were just playing sloppy. and. Um, but I thought at halftime, we, our guys made some adjustments. Coach Levitt made some adjustments on the defense. And um, we played a lot better there in the second half. Guys tackled a little better in the second half. Uh, but we uh, have to do a better job with the penalties. You know, it was just too many penalties, too many uh, pass interference penalties. And, um, and they're not just penalty. They're huge penalties. You know, they're 15 yarders at times. And or, um and that just can't happen. You know, we, we got out of this game with it, but we can't go for it that way. Steve, middle back. Will, what were your concerns after their first drive? They go down there pretty easily to tie it up after you'd scored, but then what, what was kind of your concerns after that? And then how did you think your defense answered kind of those next few to kind of steady it out a little bit? Um, I just wanted our DBs to play tighter. You know, we were playing like we was going against Randy Moss, you know, and back, we backed off so much. Just wanted those guys to get tighter and um, – play a little more aggressive. And I thought the second series, once they got back out there, we we started to do that and uh, did a good job. I thought our guys did a good job of stopping the run, which always helped. But I thought, um, you know, playing tighter coverage really helped us. In the back, Scott. Question was asked a lot this week about what can you get out of a game like this going against a, an opponent like Southern Utah without having even watched the film as you sit here now, what did you take away from that? Big victory. Um, I thought our guys were ready to play. I felt that way all week, and um, our guys went out and performed the way that they, they should have, you know. And, um, again, it wasn't as pretty as we would like for it to be, but there's a lot of uh, things we can correct. But I thought our guys went and took care of business like they're supposed to and, and um, got the win. Hi, Coach. You made it clear throughout the, the spring and the summer that you expected Justin to step up as a leader. How do you think he did today, and um, what will be your feedback to him going into next week? Um, continue to do what you're doing uh, is what I tell him. Um, I was really in, 
impressed with him. I told him after the game I was proud of him. Um, I thought he was efficient throwing the football. Uh, we didn't have to throw it much, but when he did, he was efficient doing it. Um, I thought his energy, his excitement was really good, especially on the sideline. I seen him talking to a lot of his teammates, and um, that was great. You know, Justin is getting better every single day. He's, he's doing everything we asked of him, and um, we have a football team that's willing to play for him. And, and I think whenever you get that as a quarterback, there's a lot of good things can happen for you. So um, I tell Justin to continue to do what you've been doing over these last few weeks, which he's been dynamite. I mean, and um, tell him don't stop. Whatever he's drinking, uh, whatever time he's going to bed, go to bed that time next week too. And uh, whatever you're doing, keep doing it, buddy. <laughs>